New tonight, Atlanta police now looking for these two men who they say are behind an overnight shooting that left one man dead and another fighting for his life. It happened at a gas station on Flat Shoals Road. Tonight, a mother is remembering the man who died at the gas station. As Joe Ripley reports, she's not only calling for justice, but also peace. Shuffling and sweeping shards of broken glass into the trash can. Patrick Burton says he's seen crime after crime shatter this community. Everybody has a gun. Everybody has something to protect themselves over here just because everybody has a carry. Like, it's kind of the normal, just being honest, it's kind of the normal just because everybody wants to protect themselves because they don't know what's going to happen. Just across the street, remnants of crime tape remain outside the Chevron on Flat Shoals Road. Around 3.30 Sunday morning, Atlanta police say a fight escalated, ending with an exchange of gunfire. Two men shot, one dead, one in critical condition. Message to the community is, is conflict resolution, talk things out, walk away. Um, if you need to call police, call police. Um, there's no need There's no need to go to gunfire. Please put down these guns. Please put down these guns. Tiffany Wheeler says her 24-year-old son, Camante, was trying to get money out of the gas station ATM before he was shot, but police say after the gunfire, he drove off from the scene and wrecked. Somehow my son made it to the house where I'm at. He fell on the sofa. The last thing he said was, Mama, can you help me? Wheeler said she gave her son CPR and called an ambulance, but Camante didn't survive. A mother's pain turned into a mother's plea. I just want whoever shot my son to come forward, please. I'm not mad about nothing because, like I said, in life we got to be prepared for the worst. From a shattered heart to shattered glass, all reminders of the violence that hits home oh, these are bullet -bullet -bullet. for Shadrick Burton. I actually have lost a lot of people, uh, not just over here, but just the gun violence. So it strikes home for me it's just because who knows, he could have been a customer that comes to my store. Places like this to have to shut down because of stuff like this happening in our areas. So it's just more we have to talk to the younger people about stuff like this.